Hey y'all, it's Lara here with Witchy Wednesday for the week of March 7th to 14th, 2018. So before we get started, let's just all take a collective deep breath. So I'm going to talk in the video about how um, some of this really sort of heavy, deep Pisces energy is starting to wane um, and how things are on some levels going to start amping up soon, um, but on other levels are going to require us to be a lot more introspective. Um, but before I do that, I just want to say to you that uh, today is my birthday. So um, I actually want to give you guys a gift. So this is what I'm going to do. If you subscribe to the channel and you comment below, um, because I, I don't always see who has subscribed. It sort of depends on what your settings are. But so um, I, see, like, I see like the number of subscribers, but not who they are. Um, unless the person has their settings so that I can see that. But so if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below on this video, it doesn't have to be anything special, just hi there, you know, um, whatever. Or if you wanna make a comment about the video or where things are at for you or something you're curious about that you'd like me to cover um, in a video, anything like that. Or just, hey, I, I subscribed is cool. And uh, all of those people that do that, then, I will do a draw for a free Taste of Astrology reading, and I will announce the winner next week on the Witchy Wednesday video. So um, if you're wanting to win a reading, then um, that's a good way, to, good way to do it. And, you know, there's so far not a, not a whole ton of you here yet, so uh, it's a good time to jump on board before things start to, to grow and, you know, the more people, the less chance kind of thing, right? So um, I would really appreciate that and good luck. I've been doing, you know, increasingly more and more readings and the more I do, the more I love. And I'm getting really fantastic um, feedback and really, it's, it's really meaningful and I just, I love the work that I'm doing. Life has been crazy, crazy um, busy on a number of levels <laughs> over here. Almost all of it's good, but um, you know it's still really been quite uh, all over the place. So um, you know, trying to wrap my head around that and trying to um, to really stay grounded, right? And I, especially with all the Pisces energy that we have been under, and I've mentioned that in past videos. So if you want to hear more about that, you can go listen to um, the past few videos. And uh, it's really important to to try to make an effort to keep your feet on the ground, right, during this time. But, um, and also, also, before I launch, uh, you know, into the specifics of the astrology and then uh, talk about our card for the week, the other thing is there's not a whole lot of um, energy in air happening right now. And so the air signs are, you know, Air energy is the energy of our, our, our intellect, our communication, our exchange of ideas, our thinking, um, all of those sort of mental things, right? And so there can feel like there's, there's not sort of not a lot of communication going on in some ways right now. Um, or some difficulty with with those areas, um, you know, f for for you, and depending again, of course, about where this specifically, uh, you know, factors in. Like if you're if you are somebody who's an air sign or you have a lot of air energy in your chart, then this might be feeling pretty foreign to you, right now. Um, but if you're somebody who who's used to dealing with that, um, as you're you know, your way of being in the world, then it might not, you might not be noticing it so much. So there's that. And then, um, you know, to sort of start launching more into the specifics of what's happening over this week, we have had just um, yesterday, two planets finally moved 
on out of Pisces. So we had five planets hanging out in Pisces. And, you know, I talked ad nauseum about all of that Piscean energy. I'm not going to really revisit that here. It's not completely gone yet. Um, there will still, there's still an element of that going on, um, but it's easing up right now, right? That, that Piscean watery um, energy. And, but two planets, Mercury and Venus, have moved on and they've moved into the sign of Aries, which is a fire sign. So I'm just going to show you the chart for today. Okay. And so if you see up here, um, there are still some planets in Pisces. I'll put it a little bit closer. Right. But then there are also planets that have moved into the sign of Aries. They're still all, all clustered up there in the same area of the chart. But Venus and Mercury have moved on into Aries. Mercury is the little uh, yellow guy with the horns. So you can sort of place it in the chart. And then Venus is right beside him in green. So um, that's just just give you a visual. Um, and so we have um, the fire energy is picking up for us. And so, you know, fire energy is the energy of initiation, of um, inspiration, of drive and ambition, um, of, you know, being a little impulsive, perhaps, really instinctual, um, you know, that sort of creative spark, that primal energy. So we're going to find that wherever in particular venus and mercury are in our personal birth charts that will will feel this um sort of push forward in those areas and a little bit more uh ready to act right and and a little bit more maybe even impulsivity in areas of of venus and mercury which are Venus is all about our relationships, our, our love, our resources, what we value, those kinds of things. And then Mercury is um, associated with the air signs, right? It's, it's about our thinking. It's about our intellect. It's about our communication, our exchange of ideas, all of those things. Um, and so we're probably going to feel a bit of a, you know, a freshness in those areas. Um, although there are some other things happening, like a, like a square from Saturn, which is a conversation of tension that's coming up, you know, which may put the brakes on a little bit. And then later on in the month, Mercury is going retrograde. Um, so that tends to kind of slow things down and, and make communication a little more fumbly and can wreak havoc on electronics and things like that. But again, that depends on a number of factors and you know we can't stop life because that happens often enough that you know you kind of just have to work through it um and so there's that happening um i was doing a reading just to give you sort of an example of how this may play out i was doing a reading for somebody actually a couple of people recently have had all this piscean energy um it parked in their sixth house of their natal chart, right? And so the sixth house is the house of the day, daily grind, basically. It's day-to-day -day activities. It's, um, you know, our day-to-day -day work more than our career, um, sort of at a higher, higher level. It's about our health and wellness routines as well. It's about how we are of service to others, how we are of service in the world. And so... Um, you know, these people were having a lot going on in that area, a lot of Piscean sort of confusion and feeling of, um, you know, not knowing which way is up and interspersed with, you know, feelings of inspiration in those areas. Like it just, it was a, a big old soup, right? <laughs> happening there. And um, so now for those people, with Mercury and Venus moving on into a fire sign, th things in that area of life will start to ease up a little bit um, for them. So again, it depends on where it falls in your chart, right? Um, and so what's the rest of what I wanted to talk to you about? Well, um, a couple of things. One is that the planet, I haven't mentioned this in the past readings, and it sort of occurred to me that 
it's probably something I should talk about. There's a planet called Chiron, um, which you don't hear about too much in astronomy anyway, um, but in astrological circles, Chiron is known as the wounded healer because it represents those wounds that we have um, that, for one thing, you know, they never really fully go away. So it's like, you know, they kind of, they kind of, you know, think about a physical wound. If you've got a gash, a big gash or something, um, there's always sort of, even once that's all healed up and you're good to go, there's always evidence of that somewhere, right? You can kind of see where the, where the wound has been. And so Chiron is kind of like that, but it's also how, when we address those wounds in ourself, it's how we can help others then um, heal themselves as well through our own wounding and helping them heal their wounds in, in those areas, right? And so Chiron has been in Pisces for quite some time now. And um, it's it's at the, the later degrees of Pisces. And uh, I, I can't remember the exact date of when it's moving on. It's not, uh, I think it's April or May. I think it's May. but Nevertheless, it's moving towards the end of its transit right now in Pisces. And so there may be some finishing up work going on, you know, healing work um, in whatever area of our chart we have Pisces, right? Um, so that's something to be to be aware of. Also, um, you know, uh, Chiron actually is making what we call a conjunction. So it's, it's like, uh, butting right up against Mercury and Venus, which I was just talking about. And so, um, you know, we can, we can feel maybe, you know, the healing process going on in those areas of our lives too, that have to do with relationships and resources and, and finances and what we value and how we value ourselves. And, <clears throat> And also, you know, in areas of communication and, and idea exchange and, you know, thinking, thought patterns, intellect, that kind of thing. Um, so the other thing I want to talk about before I move on to the card is that we have Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, which has been in Scorpio since I think October. I have it written here. Yeah, October of 2017. Um, it moved into Scorpio and it's been there ever since. And um, it's going retrograde on Friday, I think it is. So in the next couple of days anyway. So what does this mean? <laughs> well, anytime a planet goes retrograde and what retrograde means is the planet appears to be moving backwards in the sky. It's not actually moving backwards, but from our perspective here on earth it appears that it's moving backwards and so when a planet does that there tends to be um this sort of pause and this moving inwards and this revisiting right of of things related to that planet and where it is in the chart collectively and where it is personally for us in our own personal charts and so with jupiter in scorpio Jupiter is a planet, it's like a gas giant, right? It's, it's just um, really, um, it's huge, really, really big. So it, it, it's, it's the planet of expansion of our philosophies and our beliefs. Um, and it, it makes things bigger. So it, it's known as a benefic in astrology, which is it's beneficial, right? It's known as good luck because it expands and grows things. But the thing is, it can expand and grow things that are not necessarily all good, right? And it also sometimes have, has a tendency of sort of making us overly optimistic or over-promising, right? Oh, something good generally always comes of a Jupiter transit, but it may not always be in um, the way that we expect or may not always be as sort of big as we, as we first think it might be. Um, Excuse me, a bit of a throat tickle going on. So, um, Jupiter moving backwards in Scorpio. 
Scorpio is a sign of death and rebirth, of transformation. Um, it's the sign of like sort of a, what's buried deep in our psyche. Um, you know, those, those deep, dark depths kind of thing. Um, it's about our vulnerability as well. And, um, it's, it's quite, uh, it likes to get to the bottom of things, right? You've heard me say that before. It's quite intense. Um, so the thing with, um, Jupiter going retrograde in Scorpio is it's, it's a time now of things have sort of expanded as far as they can right now. And now, um, over the next little while, until I think it's July, yeah, until July, Jupiter is retrograde, um, things are going to, to start sort of contracting in some ways or just, you know, pausing. And so we're, we need to sort of take a pause and um, do some introspection about things like, you know, where am I not seeing things clearly, perhaps, right? Where am I um, being a bit perhaps delusional or um, not wanting to see the, um, you know, not wanting to really see reality? Where am I blowing things out of proportion? Um, where am I overdoing it in some area? Um, where, um, you know... Where am I maybe being sort of like unrealistically optimistic? Um, optimism is fantastic. I'm a big fan. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes we need to take a step back and go, okay, how realistic is this? Um, and what, you know, where do I need to sort of adjust my, my beliefs about things, my expectations, my, um, you know, my, my philosophies, um, you know, that, that kind of, that kind of thing. And, um, we may, we may find that, you know, sort of our enthusiasm in some areas might taper off a little bit, but that's okay. It's a natural process. And that's what's supposed to happen right now because we're being encouraged to go, okay, all these big, you know, plans, ideas, uh, you know, um, thoughts, uh, visions for the future, um, you know, things have just kind of been, been growing and growing and growing and growing. Right. So now it's like, okay, let's just take a step back here and let's just see, um, is this really what I want? How do I really feel about this? Is this really what's going on? Um, you know, how can I adjust things, um, for an optimal outcome? And then eventually when Jupiter um, moves forward again in July, we will see the results of all of that, right? Of, of that introspection and that reflection and that taking the time to, um, for checks and balances and that kind of thing, uh, in certain areas. And again, it, you know, it depends where Jupiter is in your personal chart. We feel this collectively, um, definitely, but we feel it individually as well. And it, it depends where it is in your chart. And it depends on perhaps how, um, important this transit is for you in terms of, you know, your chart and the conversations that the planets are having and that kind of thing. So, um, I think, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the astrology right now. Um, so I'm going to turn to our card, which is the two of wands came up for us today. Um, this again is from the witch's tarot. And so interesting because wands in astrology is associated with the element of fire, right? And we were talking about the fact that some of the energy has shifted from Pisces to Aries. Aries is a fire sign. Um, and Jupiter rules one of the fire signs. It rules Sagittarius. It's also the ancient ruler of Pisces. Um, but so, so wands is a fire, you know, re related to the fire signs. And, um, Again, you know, fire is about initiation. It's about um, pioneering. It's about 
um, inspiration, um, impulsiveness, um, you know, creative spark, all, all of those kinds of things, drive, ambition. And so what this says to me here is we have had, you know, we have had some success and that may be unclear to us right now, even like so much has been going on that, that it's like, you know, things have, Things have been happening, and I'll relate to my own personal life here because that's what I know. Um, over the last, oh my gosh, maybe six weeks, lots has transpired, and lots of even more like the last month kind of thing. Um, last few weeks, lots of opportunities have arisen and uh, lots of action going on. And most of it is really, really good. Of course, there are those Chiron places in my life, right, where uh, there's still some healing work to do, and some some things have transpired in that area too. But mostly, it's it's great, and I've had great opportunities, and things have been growing and expanding, and um, and all of this kind of stuff. And there's lots of work, which is fantastic. So there has been this element of you know partial success, but. Now it's time, Jupiter retrograde, um, to go, okay, what does this all mean? And where is, you know, where is this headed for the future? And is this is what is is this what I want this to look like? And how do I feel about this? And um, you know, maybe like maybe some decision making and some introspection about all that's gone on and all those areas of expansion and all that growth that's happened over the last while. Um, and so, you know, this is sort of how I see this um, for us. There has, you know, we've had some success. Um, there's reasons to be optimistic big time. But we're still kind of working that out and trying to figure out what that means and what that looks like. And, uh, you know, where where we're headed in the future. And that's okay. That's we're on track. That's what's, that's what's supposed to be happening right now, right? And so um, just know that that it's all good. If that's the way you're feeling, that's, that's what's meant to be right now. So I'm going to leave it there for you. Again, don't forget if you want to enter the contest to win a free taste of astrology reading with me, um, then subscribe to the channel and comment below. And if you're already a subscriber, just leave a comment below and, uh, I will take all of those people that have, uh, left a comment and subscribed and then we'll, uh, you know, I'll do a draw. I always use a random number gener generator when I do that. And I'll give away a free reading next Wednesday on the Witchy Wednesday video. And if you're interested in having your own personal reading done, um, then please follow the link below and you can see how you can arrange that and see what the options are there. And also, if you're somebody that is um, in my area, which is Sudbury, uh, Ontario, around this kind of general area and you have an event going on where you're looking for people to come in and do readings and that kind of thing I would uh, I'd really be open to that opportunity I did that a little while ago it was an amazing experience um, I've been asked to do it again but unfortunately I can't do the next event because uh, I already had a commitment that day but it's something that I'm open to as well so thank you very much for being here and um you know, I, I, as always, appreciate the feedback, the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, all of that. And uh, hang in there. Okay, everybody. I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.